resistir. Aquí comienza la aportación Pocha. Pocha somos todos. Gracias. Hablando de Pocho, uh, no, no sé cómo. Uh, F5. 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 Alguien que no entiende no entiende inglés. ¿Que no entiende inglés? Alguien que no entiende inglés. Todos entendemos inglés. Más o menos. Hagamos una buena traducción. The power of music in Chavez's view extended beyond the immediate sensory experience. Everybody was happy. They were all singing. These people were really committed in their beliefs, and this made them sing, clap, and participate. Todos eran felices, participaban y creaban, creían en lo que lo que estaban uh, cantando. Chavez drew from apostolic inspired poritos like Alabaré, like No Nos Moverán, in order to create canciones of the struggle and farm worker corridos. Simultaneously, he reached into his own Catholic tradition to invoke the power of imagery in La Virgen de Guadalupe. Uh, in La Virgen de Guadalupe, together with the eagle, the impromptu design that became the UFW symbol of movimiento. La Virgen and Aguila were indefinitely etched deep into the psyche of the Chicano movement, but it was apostolic Pentecostals who taught Chavez Christ's lessons of religion, song, and loyalty to the poor. Poor folk, immigrants, non-English speaking, apostolico, farm workers, the Madera, stood with Chavez in the 1950s, providing him with unconditional support and support that Chavez gladly acknowledged. Uh, fueron los inmigrantes que le enseñaban a Chávez las este, les, uh, lecciones importantes de la lealtad. Uh, so for several years, the Protestants, although a minority, were in control of the CSO and provided some excellent leadership. At one time, when local Catholic clergy shut him out of his own church, poor apostolic farm workers opened their doors to his organizing. The priests also red baited us, and the issue turned out to be a major one in Madera, Chavez remembers. The wrenching episode and an illuminating. In true Pentecostal form, Reyes Lopez de Jerina's fiery sermons brought down the house, a fire from heaven that helped mobilize the masses on earth. De Jerina's catalytic, catalytic style sparked the imagination of the people. From, de Jerina, from Tierra Amarilla, New Mexico, to dusty former fields of Madera, to the urban cities of Denver and concrete rivers of East LA. Spir spiritual metaphors were injected into the political teachings 
inciting nonviolent actions, directing violently at and aggressively against powers of authority. Silent sacred images of La Virgen de Guadalupe drove and led the Chicano, and led Chicano power marches and hippie farm worker processions towards centers of power like Sacramento. La, Vi La Virgen uh, became a calming image guaranteeing protection for the masses and invitation, but the spiritual songs of the apostolic and apostle worship inspired revolution. It's important to note that of the four horsemen in the Chicano movement, <laughs> only Cesar Chavez was Catholic and deeply sympathetic to Protestants. He, he was inspired by Protestants. Corky Gonzalez, um, right here, Corky Gonzalez uh, grew up Presbyterian in Colorado. Reyes Lopez de Genina was Pentecostal trained pastor in the Assemblies of God in Texas before arriving to New Mexico. Gutierrez, is not pictured here, was the only leader who grew up in a non-religious home. So two of the four were Protestant, yet in construction of Chicanismo and cultural ideology in the Chicano movement, Roman Catholicism provides an assumed ritual and a sacred canopy for the community, mm. uh, writes Rudy Bustos and King Tiger. The religious visions of Reyes Lopez de Gerina, evangelicals and Pentecostals in particular, had no place in the movimientos imagining and reconstruction or construction of authentic Chicano culture and politics. Fortunately for Chicano history, de Gerina's brilliant lifestyle as a political activist appeared to move him beyond any concern for organized religion or even the sacred. There was also a second tier of the movement that included people like Virgo Corona and his historiography of the narrative of the movimiento. Uh, there is no real analysis of the religious background of the movement's non-Catholic leadership and the apostolic influences of Chavez and Madera. Reyes Lopez de Canina converted to Pentecostalism in his teens, uh, but then was raised by a uh, devout Catholic mother. Aluisa, uh, Aluisa grew up Catholic, but also studied religion and understood the power of religion. Of equal importance to Chavez of the movement was the unexpected wisdom held by Bert Corona. Uh, Umberto Bert Corona is a Protestant born Mexican American civil rights leader and a labor organizer who is also known as El Viejo. Corona played a key and critical role in evangelizing and converting Chavez. Uh, mind, Chavez's mind to understand the power to organize undocumented immigrants. Corona, like Protestants of Madera, was also unafraid to organize undocumented immigrants and women in leadership. He knew it was vital importance for labor in the movement, religion, specifically Protestantism, was also very significant in the socialization and influencing of my own political activity, uh, writes um, Mario Garcia and members of Chicano history. Corona shares the center of his influence were two religious leaders in his, in his life, his congregational mother and grandmother, two women of great import, importance for El Viejo, who lead and were a critical part of the regional and national women's gatherings. Corona's deep Protestant roots in congregational church taught him lessons of gathering and organizing when he shared, uh, that he shares with Chavez and other young leaders of the movement. So studies by Chicano movement scholars fail to portray the complexity, the depth, and the critical analysis of religion and spirituality within the U.S. Chicano history forged and influenced by outdated Marxist theoretical frameworks of religion, faith, and spirituality. Absent is analysis of political power, agency, and spirituality negate the formative years of the Chicano movement leaders, the Chicano movement's leaders. Their complex socio-political motivations and heavenly visions of earthly revolutions. Religion played an enormous role in the formation of leaders, supported by real grassroots laity. In the, state, in the late stages of her life, in the late stages of her life, Sally Marine, a member of the Apostolic Church, shared an account of being Cesar Chavez's first secretary, the primer secretaria de Cesar Chavez, along with her, her father, Reverend Mariano Marin, an immigrant himself, who worked in the railroads and assisted the community in immigration. Uh, they lived in the back house of the Apostolic Church. Uh, this is a the the this is a book of the sense of the Milo Sintos Poeta que la familia Marín, la familia Sala. Disculpe. 
that's very right. powerful. Um, and together, the daughter and father, padre e hija, este, estuvieron conjuntamente con Cesar Chávez organizando a uh, los campesinos uh, desde 1950. And this is a decade before uh, the white ministers, Jewish and Catholic leaders come to, to Chavez's aid. The voices of loud Latina Pentecostales who decisively stood by Cesar Chavez remain ironically silent, unspoken, and undocumented in history. Their song, their song's influence, the fiery spoken words that have been knit by history, their stories neutered from the body of the Chicano movement, Together, Catholicos and Apostolicos won critical victories and made history-changing votes for the movement, for the movement's most important leader. Leader, However, the religious background, the spiritual influence of Chicana, Chicano evangelicals, Latino Pentecostales, Mexican um, apostolic leaders, have almost been non-existent and relegated to a few footnotes. Ecumenical precursors of the Chicano movement gave rise to inter- religious Latino immigrant rights and, de and cross-denominational community consciousness. Central America refugee migrants organized across international church net networks of the sanctuary movement in the 1980s. Faith leaders collectively with labor organizations cover a long history of critical analysis of faith communities. The 1980s saw the rise of the Senate Majority Leader Richard Polanco, perhaps best known for throwing the California legislature from seven members of the California legislature to 24, and the largest and the most important in California and in the nation. And offering the Cesar Chavez State Holiday, Polanco was born in 1951. He remembers growing up in East LA, being the only Alleluia on the block, honing his leadership skills and public speaking under female leaders like Sister Irene and Pastor Ch Pastora Chavez. Polanco, from, I think the Assemblies of God, he doesn't remember if it's uh, some less or, or uh, if possible. Uh, Polanco remembers these women in leadership. And in anything but Mexican, Rodolfo Acuña footnotes Senator Art Flores, openly gay and the first Latino nominated for statewide office. He was attacked by another candidate because he was a Baptist in a heavily Catholic area. Uh, Texas born Gary Vasquez. Uh, in the White House, an ambassador, an, uh, an ambassador to Vatican, also apostolic, and the son of a minister and grandson of Mexicans who immigrated from the United States, and presidential appoint appointment David Izaraga, who was the son of a Presbyterian pastor. Uh, this is in Hispanic Presbyterians of Southern California. And in 1994, an interdenominational Catholic. Apostolic Alliance spontaneously emerged in East Palo Alto and Silicon Valley, where congregants met with local Catholic and Apostolic Church led by young Daniel Ramirez, meeting halfway to march towards City Hall to demonstrate their opposition to anti-immigrant uh, California Proposition 1987. In the long tradition of social service and organizing, Reverend Manuel uh, Vizcarra, a farm worker himself, worked along it and lived among migrant farm workers in the federal labor camp of Wellesley. Vizcarra understood the plight of farm workers and the ecumenical importance in overseeing his migrant congregation. In a similar long tradition organizing after the Rodney King uh, verdict riots, Pentecostal Protestant uh, alliances like Reverend Jesse Miranda, Assemblies of God, Assemblies of Dios, helped to establish and form the interdenomination organization AMEN, uh, formed by and of Latino pastors in Los Angeles which soon spread across the nation. And years later, Puerto Rican and Luis Rodriguez led Esperanza USA, convening Latino evangelicals and, and a prayer breakfast with several US presidents attending. Some of the Latino Pentecostal evangelicals and, uh, have crossed the migrant agricultural fields into the streets of East LA and into the White House. Present day, there are US, several US presidents who have appointed Latino evangelicals such as Pentecostal, uh, such as Pentecostal roots. Uh, similarly, before before to elected to Congress, Dr. Raúl Ruiz, who's a Congress member, led community and social services expeditions with Doctors Without Borders, borders Doctores y Fronteras, a long lineage of Chicano, Latina, prophetic, religious, poetic, and political uh, precursors who helped raise the pride of Latinos in the United States.
the psychology of slavery brought a surge of, to seek spirituality and in the development of the Apostolic Assembly, pastors were called out among the ranks and the congregations to Las Guinas and Señor. Pentecostal pastors were working alongside the poorest members ensuring a better life from the word from the, from the word and singing, trabajar y orar la mía al Señor. Assembling in the multilingual loud tongues, organizing the spirit of immigrant rights, a centered emphasis in ecclesiastical roots, ecclesiastically roots, moving towards a political, ecumenical, labor, and civil rights mindset. Thank you.